Good morning, Mark here from Tough Touring. Today I'm gonna to show you a video on how to change diodes in a bundu top tent. Um, a diode, for those of you that don't know, is a small fuse. It's a one-way fuse. Um, this is a couple of dollars, maybe two bucks uh, in Australia. Uh, it's retailed through JCAR and it's a six amp diode. Um, voltage is, is huge on these, but yeah, the ampage is what matters. Six amp diode is what you want. This is what's fitted in the tent already. Uh, the purpose of these basically they're a fuse and they're designed to pop in, or fail in the event of either negative polarity so you've wired your tent in backwards or a short circuit in the system somewhere and they prevent further damage so um, great little things to have and very easy to replace to do the replacement you will need in terms of tools one set of snips phillips head screwdriver not the biggest one sort of a I don't know, smallish. Um, you can use a soldering iron for this, but I, I prefer to use terminal connectors, which are available at most uh, electrical and auto parts stores, because then you don't need to have soldering iron. Uh, these are certainly very easy to carry in your car. Um, now, I'll show you where this, the diodes are located. Um, if you climb into the bundu top, you'll see that you've got your control box over there where you've got your SIG sockets coming out. The diodes are inside that. Um, so we're gonna pull that off and I'll get in there and show you how to do it. Okay, when you open up the control box, um, the diodes are wrapped in black sticky tape. There's one of them. And the second one will be also there, usually on the white wires coming out of the you can see that one is obviously blown. You see that it's sort of completely fallen to pieces. There you go. So yeah, that's uh, that's an obvious blown diode. See where they come from. So they come from these white cables which run up to the limiting switches. So there's one limiting switch in the arm and one in the roof. Very basic system. Uh, most of the stuff you don't have to worry about or look at, but yeah, the diodes is uh, is the cause of the buttons no longer working. In order to replace the diodes, I'm going to unwrap the sticky tape that's on there and then cut out the faulty diode. I'm one-handed, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down and I'll show you once I've cut the, um, cut the diode off. Here's the first diode unwrapped. I've taken the sticky tape off. You'll see it looks quite good, it looks intact. It probably is, but we don't change one, we just change them both. Now you'll see there's a little grey side to that diode on the black, where was my finger? On this little black knobby thing in the middle which does all the work. That little grey part goes facing the winch end of the tent. So here's the winch. Winch end. And that must be the little, the part of that fuse that stops, uh, stops the ampage going. Um, one way. Make this diode a, um, an easier swap next time. You'll see that it's soldered on. I'm going to cut it off with my snips right, right up close here. And again on the other end, just so I've got some cable left to put into these terminal connectors, which is somewhat easier. So here's my new diode going in. I've bent the two bits of wire so I can push that straight into the terminal connector and screw it together. Okay, I've put one terminal connector on. I've twisted the wires together. I probably should have said to you, use a set of pliers to twist the wires together. It's a lot easier than using your fingers. I just attempted it with my fingers and managed it, but yeah, pliers make it a lot easier to get a nice twist on that. You see the diode in the center there. And yeah, that's easily removable now. We can just pull that out. I'm gonna coat the whole thing in um, in black electrical insulation tape as well, just to prevent any short circuits when I'm finished. I'll show you the finished job next clip. Both terminals on now. And there we have the diode coated in uh, black electrical insulation tape. Um, if any of you are worrying about the legalities of doing this sort of thing yourself, this is 12 volt power. So in Australia, there is no legal requirement that you need to be a qualified electrician or anything like that to change a fuse. Uh, and this is a fairly simple task. Yes, there's a couple of little steps, but very easily achievable. 
Make sure your connection is clean, it's neat, it's tidy, and it's well insulated against other parts and components, and you won't have a problem. Now, remember also there's two terminals. So I've, I've just changed one of them for the video to keep it nice and short, but I'm gonna change the second one now as well. Always change both, uh, and I'll uh, take a picture of the tent working in a second. Okay, so I've finished the diode change. Um, I'm gonna plug in some power. We've got a little gadget here, which is quite cool for testing. It's a KT Accessories amp meter. Um, the correct ampage, if you happen to have one of these, if you have an amp meter, um, it's nice to know that your system is working correctly. The tent draws around about 20 amps on the way up and around about 18 on the way down, uh, if it's a king, under king. The smaller one, those figures, uh, it's roughly 16 on the way up and 14 on the way down. So I'm gonna check that and test. Uh, the, the purpose of testing that is to, to need to basically get rid of the um, possibility that the diode's blue as a result of a short circuit. And if I see a short circuit, I'll see it with the amp meter because the amp meter will start, will go right up to 40 or 50 amps immediately as soon as I press those buttons. But um, just little words, words of um, experience. Um, it's very rare that you do get a short circuit, but if you do, that's how you find it. Cheers and thanks for watching my video. Bye.